All right, so as you can see here, I've got uh, two of the modules uh, put together. So if we look on this side, these are the negative uh, bus bars. Uh, these are simply separated by a piece of plywood, uh, like this, and the the positive terminal on these will be connected to the negative terminal of the pack on top. So currently they're just they're not touching it. I'll be soldering them together. So then here we got the same idea here. Uh, the positive terminal is on top. Of these, uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but on this side here, I've got a uh, wire that cross connects these two just to uh, make sure that all the uh, cells are interconnected. Uh, I put some plastic dip on it there, or some uh, liquid uh, tape, just in case some some debris falls on here. I'll be uh, gluing, the, the taping, uh, or putting some plastic uh, liquid tape on this on both ends, also to make sure that uh, I can't. Um, make contact with these uh, wires. Now to, to glue these modules together I just use uh, this I don't know what of glue I've had. It's sort of like a silicone. I'm uh, figuring that it does a pretty good bond but also I think is uh, removable uh, by prying it apart uh, in the advent in the future that I need to take these packs apart um, to retest the cells. So to assemble these I put one piece of plywood in the middle. I, I I lay glue underneath. Put the piece of plywood like this. And then just drop the other uh, group of cells on top. So I'll just drop my camera here. So this is the pack that I created with the positive bus bar already uh, set up on it. So. Let's put this on top. So like this. And this would be will be what my pack looks like. Um, so again this will be the negative terminal down here so I have to figure out a way to connect that uh, together and uh, bring it up probably to here uh, in order to make a connection point for the negative and that's a positive. So I'll just stop filming and I'll show you how I, uh, I'm going to solder these together. I'm going to glue these together uh, first obviously and then um, proceed with uh, soldering all these points together. Okay so I'm ready now to uh, solder the bus bars together between the two um, group of cells. Now, there's, since there's a little bit of a gap between these, uh, what I've decided to do is I put a little piece of uh, copper wire. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so that will help the solder flow between the two bus bars. To solder this, since uh, this is uh, quite a bit of a copper mass, uh, I decided to get one of these very large uh, soldering irons. So this is a 200 watt soldering iron. So this will uh, quickly heat up the terminals and uh, allow the solder to flow much quicker. So let's, uh, let's try this. Gotta make sure that their solder Good amount of solder between the terminals. My first one. So I heat the bottom one first. Sometimes I can get it quickly, sometimes it takes a little more time. I apologize for the lighting, it's not the, the best, but I think you can see. down to go all right so 
there we have it. The best parts are now interconnected and I will do the same on the other four on the other side and the all the uh, bus bars in the middle of the packs are, will be connected and uh, we'll move to the next step after.